Monday your or whatever. segment, <laughs> you open the forum for discussion. So you, you can talk as prepared. long as well, you want within your 10 minutes and then them, say, do so. you see a cocktail around here anywhere? I have no idea. Well, yeah, I'll have to get it during one of our breaks. Everybody can then chime in. So. Percy. Yes, sir. Turn that camera just a little bit towards the window. Yeah, turn it that way. A little more. A little more? Get, 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 get. Good. Hey, how about you? Yeah. Okay. Let me know when you guys are ready so we can start. I'm ready. Recording. Let's do this thing, man. Not use the microphone very much. No, it's They're not working. Out. Yeah, they, it, this we're thing having a problem. I have to figure out what's going wrong. So we're working solely off the webcam, which is fine in studio. We don't have a problem in studios when we go out of studio. Oh. It, it held. It held. Well, by the way, we've actually been recording for the last 53 seconds. I'm anyway. not surprised. Right. He does this crap all the time. Thank you. Whoa, Brooke. And now the feats of strength. <laughs> All right, so welcome back to CobraRadio.com, our reunion show after our hiatus, which I believe is Greek for some sort of bird. Um, I'm sorry about that, but I really needed last Monday pretty bad. No, it's okay. What was last Monday? Last Monday was the uh, night before I, I received my charges. Uh, uh, teacher in service day. Well, I wasn't actually going to say teacher, but thanks, Percy. Whatever. <laughs> is that sort of a... A district pep rally? Yeah, no, it's for me. I, you know, I, I need to get myself, rally. need to get myself heavily sauced before the kids yes, came that's right. to rally. <laughs> Pop a few more Xanax, yeah. Well, what you got for us, Percy? What do I have for us? You gonna do a little introduction? Sure. Here? Welcome back from across the beautiful World Wide Web, the landscape of the internet. We have brought you a very special presentation here at Cobra Radio. It's gonna sound like a freaking earthquake. It does beach. sound like an earthquake, and that's because. <laughs> In studio, we have a guest. Not really a guest. He's a regular on the show. A returning. Uh, if you look over there at the ColbertRadio.com Be Reasonable banner, his signature is definitely the, the only one you can see on camera. That's right. It is Dicky Storm, the man, the myth, the legend. The go, Dickster sir. is the back. The Dickster is back. You can't go anywhere without your dick. And we have ours right here. Speaking of dicks, wait till you hear about Piranha 3D. <laughs> I can't oh, yeah. wait to hear about yeah. that. I see that. I it's went and saw it. He, he, he actually ever. called me and invited me, knowing I would not a chance in hell that I would go to see that I show. Know. I am. Uh, there so is no <laughs> way I could have sat to that movie if you were sitting next to me. <laughs> I, I could oh, barely no. do it. <laughs> sitting <laughs> next to myself, yeah. it was yeah. that bad. We'll get to Piranha and 3D later, huh? If you're sitting next to yourself, you should just go on a diet <laughs> <laughs> or buy an extra seat. Mm -hmm. All right. Good call, like an airplane. So. Uh, across from Dicky is the conscience of the show. Our lovely lefty liberal lady, Brooke Fox, archivist yeah, extraordinaire. We love Brooke. She keeps we us from do. being too mean. She does keep us from being too mean, unless it's <laughs> to her. I am Percy Hugo, the prophet of prophet, the voice of the holy city from the far right side, the mouth of the south himself, and no ego whatsoever. Across I love Percy Hugo because, as far as he's concerned, Rush Limbaugh's a pussy. No, no, no. He can't commit. No, 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 no. I, I have other people who I feel are pussies. Rush Limbaugh okay. is just a... Uh, he's just Rush. Well, you're not going to change him. What are you getting Oh, I'm sorry. We're in mixed company. I'm with Johnny. Actually, that's worse than what <laughs> you that said worse? the first okay. Yeah, making it clinical is yeah. somehow worse. Uh, it does somehow. Yeah. You know? It's not as friendly. Yeah. You can't call it MRI pornography. No, you it's can't. It's MRI smut. It's the only... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Anyways... Uh, to uh, directly across from me, the man, the myth, the legend, with his name on the marquee and his reputation on the line, and such his as it is, face on the camera. <laughs> That's right. Which only there's no escape. I'm just telling you, next to Brooke, you should really have Lance sit there. Wait till my boss is finally yeah. ever watch this show. Oh my God! Yeah. I'll be looking. I'll be. I'll be getting one of. The, I'll be. Uh, I'll be getting those checks for 99 weeks. That's right. <laughs> It'll be a 99er. That yep. would be a 99er. Well, don't worry. Like, they're going to extend those oh benefits. Oh, my God. That would be awesome if I could just get fired and keep my pension and get checked for 99 weeks. That would be awesome. But you would feel better if you were getting it and you didn't have any other income. Are we really going to do this right now? Yeah, if you're going to, you know. <laughs> so as I was saying, Good yes, for Brooke. it's John Colbert. The man, the myth, the yeah. Thank you, Brooke. Yeah. Thank you, Brooke. I want to welcome my cast. Percy, thank you very much for the introduction. Yeah, no Dickie, problem. it's wonderful to have you back. It really is. It really, it really, is. really sucks you're not being here. Oh, Speaking I'm of glad. sucks, we're going to be reviewing Piranha in 3D. Okay. <laughs> and Brooke, 
Always lovely to have you. I understand you brought something with us today. Well, yes, know. we're glad that Brooke is prepared today. Uh, that's right. Because normally we just rip her apart for her personality. All right, now let now me. Now we can do it for some actual facts. Oh. All right, here's my Jewish proverb, and then I give you the Southern translation. We're still doing that. Yeah, believe oh, it or not. No, you got to. I, I yeah. thought I was. Well, now we won't long. see that. Three, three years out of Jewish. Yeah. Thought I'm not coming long. back till you run out of Jewish yeah, proverbs. Right. How long is that? I kind of do this. I kind of do this for for Dr. Greenberg at the Milk University. I, just, I gave him a copy of the book. This? No, but I gave him a copy <laughs> of the book. One should always assume the habit of silence and speak only on subjects of wisdom or on matters of vital importance to one's being. Well, that takes out everybody on this show. <laughs> there you go. And what's That's the it. Southern translation for that? Uh, better to keep your mouth shut and have everybody assume you're a fool than to open it and remove all doubt. That's pretty close. Actually, that's pretty close. Dicky? I don't know. I wasn't listening. Brooke, tell him what it says. <laughs> Thank God it. no beer actually hit the lips before that comment. Brooke, what's the thing. translation? Why is Keith Olbermann so talking? <laughs> <laughs> I like that one, too. It amused even me when I wrote oh, it. That's Why great. is Keith Olbermann still talking? That's great. Well, he's not talking. <laughs> he's reading now. Is All right. Still doing he's that? reading third. I've yes, he still, he still does that. I have gotten some wonderful advice on the book I'm working on. Oh, good. From, from a very trusted person source. who would know. Uh -huh. A very trusted source, a person who understands these things. And uh, he, he, he likes it. So um, uh, he's giving me some sound advice, so I'm going to be tightening things up on this thing a little bit and removing quite a bit. Because he can't believe all the stuff I wrote. He, he, he wrote and he said, how long have you been working on this? Oh, my God. <laughs> I just sent him letters A and B. It's 120 pages. Oh, yeah. so it's, oh my God. How long have you been working on this? Since elementary school. Well, if you think of two letters per summer, you've only got about another 12 years to go. Before I know. i got to get finished. finished. Anyway, here's the word from the New Cobert Dictionary abridged. I want you guys to tell me what the new definition for abhor is. When you abhor something. Um, What's the new definition for abhor? That guy from the Jersey Shore? Yeah, That's, I like that too. Catch the reference. Abhor. A hooker with a six pack. Nice. Bum, bum, bum. Bum. You like that there one? We, we right. do clash symbols here, give you the rim shot or anything like that. We just do this. I've already welcomed there my class, uh, my cast here. I also want to remind everybody to please don't forget to go to the musc.edu online, and there you'll receive instructions on how to get to the Dr. James W. Colbert Endowment. Please donate to that. We're, uh, this is our this is our favorite charity. It's not our only charity, but it's our favorite charity. Right. At least it's my favorite charity. Right. Tonight we're going to be doing reviews. Good. We've got four films to review. Percy has one. Which one is yours? The other guys with Mark Wahlberg. But you're doing and Expendables. Ferrell. I can do the Expendables too. Then we're doing five. I can do them both. I the other guys and the Expendables. Will do. Drew is Scott doing Hubble Inception. Ah, uh, okay. I'm doing Hubble in 3D Ooh. by NASA. And Piranha 3D. I like it. I saw a lot of 3D movies. I took Snodgrass to see Hubble 3D. Uh, IMAX Theater in Citadel Mall. The 3D. She loved it. No, she this absolutely is loved by it. Who? It's a NASA film. NASA. IMAX and NASA. So it somehow relates to Muslims. Has nothing to do with Muslims. Muslims. No, no, not yet. We'll get to the Muslim thing later. So anyway, there's NASA's plenty of Muslim crap. When we come we'll back, we'll start with our usual, our, our second segment is always sports. We get that done out of the way so my sister Margo can come back to listening to us again. That's right. Because she always cuts us out because she doesn't care about sports. Good then call, Then she comes Margo. back. Good call, Margo. We'll be right back with CulvertRadio.com. That's what we're going to do.